Hi everybody, it's John the Science Guy and welcome to Science Fridays with John. We have a great experiment today and it's all about friction. Whether we're talking about a bicycle, or we're talking about walking, uh, we're talking about many types of mechanics, or even our own bodies, we need friction on a daily basis. If we don't have enough, things don't move. If we have too much, they also don't move. All right, so let's take a look at what we got here today. We got a piece of paper, got a little book, which is a little thicker paper, we got a piece of plastic, and I have my sleeve. So if we take this piece of paper just like this, okay, and I was to take my thumb and my index finger, and I was just to rub back and forth, okay? Just rub back and forth a couple times. I start to notice that the paper is actually getting warm. If I keep doing this, it will actually probably get really, really hot. I can feel it getting very warm underneath my uh, finger. Not my thumb, but underneath is where more of the friction is being. And you can see how I'm doing that, right? All right. You can notice the uh, repercussion from the active friction there. Let's take this book, this little booklet. I'm gonna take this book, I'm gonna take the same fingers. Now, when I'm trying to do friction on this, you're gonna notice that it's not as warm. There's a couple reasons for that. One, it's a smooth surface, so I glide a lot easier and I don't need as much friction. And so because there's not a friction, I'm not generating as much heat like this single piece of paper. Now I've got a piece of plastic here, which we use for photos all the time. I'm gonna take my thumb and my index finger and I'm going to rub back and forth on this. Wow, that's getting pretty hot. Just by this little piece of plastic, I keep doing this, I'm gonna get finger burn. Okay, why? Because in order to move my finger and my thumb and index finger on this, I have to put a lot of extra friction. When I put that extra friction, I create heat. All right, let's take a look at my shirt, okay? My lab coat, I should say. I'll take my thumb and index finger and I'll go back and forth here a couple times. So I can feel the warmth because my hands have been moving, obviously, back and forth. But I could keep doing this all day and it, it's not really going to bother me. It's not gonna cause my finger to get a blister. But if I kept doing that very long on this plastic, I would probably get a blister, right? Because it would go right through my finger. So why is this important and why do we care about friction? Because we always say that we don't want friction in our life, right? Well. It's kind of um, a backward thing. Because in order to have momentum, we need to have friction. Let me say that again. In order to have momentum, and not just momentum, positive, continuous momentum, we need to have friction. Let me say that one more time. In order to have positive momentum, we need to have friction. All right, let's take somebody on a bicycle. And you can see the person pedaling and you can notice that the tire is actually going against the sidewalk or the pavement. And what you'll notice is that that friction is what allows the wheel to spin. If there was no friction, like if I was on, um, let's say, a, um, a large ice skating rink, I would probably move back and forth and I might slide but I wouldn't go very far. Why do I say this to you? A lot of people in life feel that everything has to be smooth to go with the flow. We all love things to be smooth, okay? But in order for something to become smooth, just like if we're making pudding, right? We're whipping it up. We have to get through some friction, right? Or if we're beating egg whites, we have to get through some friction until we can get it nice and smooth and creamy, even if we're making homemade ice cream. So when we get past a certain point of friction, then there's very little friction that's needed, but we continue to get a consistent momentum. Thus, if you're having problems getting through something, adjust and know what the right amount of friction is. You'll know, because if you have too much friction, you're gonna be like, I don't wanna do this, I hate this. If you got that kind of attitude, I got news for you. You've got too much proverbial friction in your mind, right? Friction is not something that we talk about just with paper or tangible objects. Friction can be something in our mind. Friction can be with people. And so when friction 
causes us to have too much of a, um, let's call it an ego or a personality clash, we get arguments. We go nowhere or we go backward, right? Thus, my moral for you today and story is that if you want to become a success in life, know that you're not going to become that by just expecting everything to flow. Yes, I promise you it will flow. However, you have to get through some challenges, some building lessons, so that you have just enough friction to keep the flywheel in your car moving, bike wheel spinning, or your propeller going, fan, etc. You need a little bit of friction, but not too much. Too much, cause it to stop. Not enough, cause it not to move. Ladies and gentlemen, you know who I am by now. I'm John the Science Guy. Would you help me out, guys? Would you please go ahead and like this video? Yes, you, you love science, and so do I. And why don't you comment below? Science is cool, science is great, friction is good. The right balance of friction in my life will inevitably lead me to success. Let's say it again. The right amount of friction will inevitably lead me to success. The right amount of friction will inevitably lead me to success. And you know what I'd love you to do? I would love you to tag your friends, colleagues, and associates here in the video. Also, why not smash that bell notification icon and hit the subscribe button. This way you'll be instantly notified when I post new videos just for you guys about science. And then be sure, please, to go below any of my videos and click on that link below where it says help keep our content free, the PayPal link, and make the choice to buy my team and I a cup of coffee. We'll invest into new hardware, new technology, new equipment, new software, new facilities, new staff, and content to propel just the right amount of friction to, yes, attract you, to engage you, and to continuously delight you so that you can, let's say, enhance the knowledge library in your mind. I know you want to grow, just like I do every day. Thanks for continuing to watch Science Fridays with John, and I'll see you on another video real soon.